Guilin Hills of China, there is a secret hidden in the mountain villages. No man could read it. Not even the emperor knew about it. Do you know New Shu? Uh, I don't know New Shu. New Shu? Oh, I don't know New Shu. I don't know about New Shu. Men know nothing about it. It was women's thing. It was between those women, sworn sisters. When they visit each other, they would sing together. These new shoe writings were gifts for my sisters for my wedding. I don't know how to read them. This was my mother's book. You see, there are new shoe writings in it. I don't know what the writing says. My mother gave it to me as a marriage gift for the third day homecoming ceremony after the wedding. This book was called the Third Day Book, and it marked a very important feature of the local marriage custom, the Third Day Ceremony. Nushu works were written in a poetic format with seven characters per line, and it was sung rather than read.
After I got married, I could not carry water, not even lift a pot. So I loosened my foot binding. During the Japanese invasion, I had to run carrying two children. I then released the binding. My feet became much bigger and their shape was further changed. During the land reform of 1940, I was forced to work in the field. I never wore the binding again. Nushu was devastated during the revolutions which purported to liberate women. Though women began to attend schools in the 1920s, after the fall of the feudal system, only Chinese was taught. After the communist liberation of 1949, Nushu customs were indiscriminately abolished. Ironically, Nushu being syllabic is vastly more efficient than hieroglyphic Chinese and it constitutes a modern alternative to this ancient form of writing. It also carries the soul of freedom and equality. Above all, it demonstrates women's ability to contribute to the advancement of civilization. Young continues to write at 86 and still wishes to publish her poems 